what's up guys um i know it's been like probably the longest this is probably like the longest stretch of time i've gone without making a video so i'm sorry about that um i've just been like ha i've just had a lot of stuff taking up my time lately and so um during my downtime when i kind of feel like making a video i've just been kind of lazy about it but i find i wanted to finally make another video so um i wanted to go over a couple things kind of quickly today um there's been a lot of pictures coming out from the set of Titans, the live action show that's going to be on the DC streaming service. Um, so we have we get to see Starfire, Raven, um, uh, the guy who's playing um, Robin, Brenton Thwaites, um, in these pictures. Oh, Beast Boy. Uh, and I, I don't know, I guess set pictures just don't ever look as good as the actual show or the movie obviously i'm not 100 percent sure how i feel about starfire's costume the way she looks i wish her hair was more red and less pink i know it's probably a stupid nitpicky thing to say um i just it the pink looks more like i want to use i don't want to use an offensive word it just looks kind of tacky i don't know it just doesn't i like color i don't mind like pink hair I just think for the character she's playing, pink doesn't make sense. Like, her hair should be red for her character, right? Or like an orangey red, not pink. But maybe it'll look different in the show. Um, it might just be these pictures that make it look pink. <laughs> like I said, I don't have a problem with pink hair. I wanted purple hair at one time, so it's not like I have anything against that. It just, for this character, it doesn't make sense for it to have pink hair, but maybe it'll look different in the show. Um... So we see some pictures there of the set. Hopefully, um, we'll get some, uh, I still don't know when the show's coming out on the DC streaming service. If you guys know, you can comment and let me know, but I don't know personally. Um, I'm thinking it should be this year though, right? I mean, next year would be pretty far. I don't know. Let me know, um, if you know anything about that. I'm still looking forward to the show. I'm excited about the show. Um, so far, my favorite pictures have been the one, the ones of Brenton Thwaites in his Robin costume um, that he had on his Instagram, that he posted on his Instagram. I also made some a video about that a while back when he posted those pictures. His suit looks really, really good in those pictures. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to the show. And um, yeah, so there's some cool set pictures from uh, Titans. I think it also came out a while back that Jason Todd is going to be on the show. And I think I might have mentioned that in a video. I think I did. That there was some speculation based on a character um, description that they were casting for. And then it came out later on that it was um, uh, confirmed that they were going to be having a Jason Todd character. I think, I'm pretty sure I've talked about that before. Because um, I want to see who they're going to pick. <laughs> um, I still want to know if they're going to have like... Bruce Wayne and you know major characters like that or I'm sure they'll probably reference people by name and have like easter eggs but I don't know if they would put huge name characters like that in a first season they might want to see how the show does and you know what characters they're going to add later on but um, probably just mostly reference like name references and easter eggs I'm sure they'll have because they have to have those kind of references um in this kind of show so I'm looking forward to it um, and also I wanted to talk about um, something that The Rock mentioned about um, the uh, Black Adam movie because we haven't really heard much about it except that it's gonna be a, his own solo movie he's not gonna be the villain in the first Shazam movie I'm um, obviously they will have to meet up sometime in the DC Cinematic Universe because they're arch rivals um, that would kind of be like Superman and Lex Luthor never battling, or like, you know, never having a rivalry. It wouldn't, it'd be kind of weird. <laughs> um, so he's not going to be the villain in the sh first Shazam movie, but he is going to have his own solo movie. And now he, The Rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson is saying that, um, they have a script. He's loving it. It's great. And hopefully if things go as planned, they can push for a, they can shoot for a 2019 release date. Um, so if things go as planned, like he said, then that should mean that they would have to start filming, like, soon, like now, 
did he say does the quote say release i wonder if he meant release date or production no because i think right there in that quote i'm not looking at it sorry um i think he says in production so um that would mean yeah release date 2019 release date which it's already like we're already a few months into 2018 so it'd probably be a late 2019 release date but um i mean at least that's some kind of update some kind of news on what's going on with that movie um i think most people are probably excited about that but i know there's also people that are thinking like he should have been the villain in the shazam movie and stuff but it's okay to have you know other villains first and then kind of build up to the main villain for a certain character you know and it's i always think it's interesting when there's you know a whole movie based on a villain it's good to have well-developed villains just as it's important to have <clears throat> well-developed you know superheroes in these movies um so it's not i don't think it's a bad thing i think it's something different to do you know to have a whole movie based on um, a villain's origin it's cool to see them start out as maybe like a normal person they weren't always a villain they weren't always a bad character you know and it's cool to see them develop into that which is something that um i think is what they're going to do with the joker solo movie also so um i think it's interesting that dc's wanting to do villain-centered solo movies um so I don't think it's a bad thing. And of course, we'll see Shazam and Black Adam team up eventually. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to talk about today. Again, sorry it's been so long since I've had a video. Like I said, I've been kind of lazy about it in my free time because I've been really busy. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out the links in the description. See you next time.